Uh, hi, I'm Cheryl from Randburg. Um, uh, please help my son. It's not a truly South African summer without an abundance of ice. Its contents are usually for special visitors. Ice was the perfect companion. It accomplishes what any soda commercial would have you believe. A guaranteed cold quench. You can fight it. Tyson, thank you so much for chatting with me on a Saturday afternoon, bruh. So how does the quietest child then end up actively pursuing um, careers and avenues where you have to be almost anything but that? Bob is not just like a, a, a funny, quirky voice. He's a, he's a person, you know, he's, uh, he turns 48 on September the 14th. He was, you know, born in and raised in Madison, Wisconsin. He's, uh, you know, he went to prom with, uh, with uh, Paula Jenkins in 1990. And then he spent some time in the CIA, you know, and he can tell you a whole lot about the 16 years he spent undercover there working as a barista. And all of that has influenced, well, the way that I see and experience the world, you know, Pearl. It's uh, really fantastic if you think about it. So he's, uh, so, so he's, 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 like, he's a full human being. Describe yourself in three words. Tyson in three words. Pensive, is that the word? Um, um, silly and playful. <laughs> Um, and Bob O'Connor in three words? <laughs> um, traveled, um, curious, and um, insightful. <laughs> Cheryl for Bramberg in three words. I'm driven and uh, nostalgic and um, just family orientated. I love my kids, Jono and uh, Sandra. Men, bread talks. Yes, I want a pill. It's like... I'm not man, but I want to say that I want to say that I want to Straight talking. Uh, Streetwise and uh, ambitious. Tyson, your comedy top five. Difficult question, probably, but I'm going to put you on the spot. Who is it? Oh my word, oh my word. Um, Jamie Foxx is there. Um, Richard Pryor. Uh, Eddie Murphy is there. I love Wanda Sykes. Um, oof, this is hard. Oh, this is hard. Uh, probably Robin Williams. So you were talking about reading just now. What are you reading? Oof, um, there's The Art of Dramatic Writing. It's by Laos Hedgeri. It's just a book that unpacks ways in which, uh, you know, dramatic writing is impactful. And um, oh, it's just a beautiful book. It's one of my ways I'm trying, I'm taking myself on a little course, you know, so I take notes and um, I read a lot and I try to kind of think about uh, things. And yeah, I would really like to improve uh, the way that I write and just the way that I understand dramatic writing. Um, and I think it'll inform all sorts of my writing. Whether this is a uh, professional, personal, what is on, like, just give us three things, three things that are on your bucket list. I would love to travel through, um, I have like, I'd love in a single trip to do multiple West African uh, countries. Um, and just experience the people and um, the, the places and the history. Uh, I would love, okay, I'm not a winter person, like, yo, Godola very fast, but <laughs> I would love to see the Northern Lights in the North Pole, oh, Arctic. Yeah, I'd love to see the Northern Lights. Um, what else would I love to do? Oh, yes. Oh, how could I not? I would love, I think I would cry the whole day if I had this opportunity. But in my opinion, the best 
voice artists in the world are in Japan. Um, and I would give anything to sit in and watch them work. Um, you know, some of the, the actors who, you know, who have created some of my favorite anime characters and stuff. And wow, I would cry tears, probably even on the plane. Can you just imagine? Chicken or beef, sir? I'm going to Japan for anime. You know, I would be that guy. Um. <laughs> I love that. Thank you so much, Tyson. Thank you so much for your time and for your generosity. This was a lot of fun.